Welcome to Voices of the Workplace, everyone. Today we have Linda with us to talk about women in the workplace. Let's dive right in. Linda, can you tell us a little about yourself? Absolutely, Michael. Excited to be here and discuss these critical issues. I've spent over a decade navigating various roles in the corporate world and now focus on advocating for gender equality and mentoring young professionals. What inspired you to focus on gender equality in the workplace? My experiences and the stories of countless women highlighted the need for a stronger push towards gender equality. I saw the barriers firsthand and felt compelled to do something about it. Can you share one of the biggest challenges women face in the workplace today? Certainly. One major challenge is the gender pay gap. Despite progress, women still earn less than men for the same work, which reflects broader systemic issues of inequality. What steps can organizations take to address this pay gap? Organizations should conduct regular pay audits, ensure transparency in compensation practices, and adopt clear policies for promotions and raises that guard against bias. How significant is mentorship in advancing women's careers? Mentorship is incredibly significant. It provides guidance, support, and opportunities for visibility, which can be game changers in women's careers. What role do men have in supporting women in the workplace? Men play a crucial role. They can be allies by acknowledging their biases, supporting equitable policies, and sponsoring and mentoring women. How can women negotiate for better salaries and positions? Preparation is critical. Women should research industry standards, clearly articulate their achievements and contributions, and practice negotiation strategies to advocate for themselves effectively. A tremendous impact. What impact does workplace culture have on women's success? A supportive culture that values diversity and inclusion can significantly boost women's engagement, retention, and progression. Can you discuss the importance of work-life balance for women? Work-life balance is crucial for everyone, especially women, who often shoulder a disproportionate burden of domestic responsibilities. Employers must offer flexible work arrangements and respect boundaries to support this balance. How can women in leadership positions make a difference? Women leaders can drive change by implementing inclusive policies, mentoring upcoming women professionals, and setting an example of equitable leadership. What challenges do women of color face in the workplace? Women of color often face compounded biases and barriers, including racial and gender discrimination. Addressing these requires targeted efforts to dismantle stereotypes and create truly inclusive environments. How has remote work impacted women professionally? Remote work offers flexibility, which is beneficial. However, it also blurs the lines between work and home, sometimes increasing the burden on women. It's a double-edged sword. What's your take on the glass ceiling? Is it still a barrier today? The glass ceiling persists, albeit with some cracks. While some women break through, systemic barriers still limit women's rise to the top echelons of leadership. How can women support each other in professional settings? Through networking, mentorship, and advocacy, women can create supportive communities that elevate one another. What role does education play in empowering women in the workplace? Education is foundational. It equips women with knowledge, skills, and confidence to pursue their careers and challenge the status quo. Can you share an example of a policy that has effectively promoted gender equality? Yes. Policies around parental leave that include ample time off for both parents can level the playing field by not implicitly assigning child-rearing responsibilities to women. How can we challenge stereotypes about women's roles and capabilities? By showcasing diverse examples of women's success in various fields and actively challenging and debunking myths and stereotypes in our daily interactions. What future trends do you see regarding women in the workplace? I see a future of more women in leadership, continued advocacy for equality, 
and an increasing recognition of the value of diverse workplaces. How important is personal branding for women? It's essential. Personal branding helps women articulate their value proposition, stand out in their industries, and advance their careers. Can you advise young women just starting their careers? Be bold and assertive. Seek out mentors and sponsors. Don't be afraid to take risks and advocate for yourself. Your perspective and skills are needed and valuable. Linda, how do you see the role of technology in advancing gender equality in the workplace? Technology can be a powerful tool for gender equality, from creating flexible work environments to offering learning and development opportunities accessible to all. However, addressing the digital divide is vital to ensure women have equal access to these technological benefits. What advice are you for companies looking to improve their diversity and inclusion efforts? Companies should start by comprehensively assessing their current practices, listening to employees' experiences, setting clear and measurable goals for improvement, and committing to ongoing learning and adaptation in their DNI initiatives. How significant is the issue of sexual harassment in the workplace, and what can be done to combat it? Sexual harassment remains a significant issue that undermines women's safety and equality at work. Combating it requires a zero tolerance policy, comprehensive training, safe and confidential reporting mechanisms, and swift action against perpetrators. Can you talk about the impact of parental leave policies on women's career advancement? Effective parental leave policies can significantly impact women's ability to advance in their careers. Policies that support both parents taking leave. And provide job security can help level the playing field and challenge the traditional gender roles around childcare. How do stereotypes about leadership affect women's opportunities to lead? Stereotypes that equate leadership with masculine traits can hinder women's advancement into leadership roles. Challenging these stereotypes involves recognizing and valuing the diverse leadership styles that women bring. What strategies can women use to overcome imposter syndrome? Building a supportive network, seeking feedback, and celebrating achievements can help women combat imposter syndrome. It's also important to normalize talking about these feelings and to understand that many successful people experience them. How can organizations support women returning to the workplace after a career break? Organizations can offer re-entry programs, flexible work options, and opportunities for training and development to support women transitioning back into the workforce after a break. In what ways can women's unique perspectives contribute to business innovation and success? Women's perspectives can drive innovation by bringing diverse ideas and approaches to problem solving. This diversity of thought. Can lead to more creative solutions and a better understanding of customer needs across genders. How can the media shape perceptions of women in the workplace? The media has a decisive role in shaping societal perceptions. By highlighting stories of successful women, challenging stereotypes, and promoting a diverse representation of women in various roles. The media can contribute to changing how women are viewed in the workplace. Looking forward, what gives you hope for the future of women in the workplace? I'm encouraged by the increasing awareness and activism around gender equality, the growing number of women in leadership positions, and the commitment of younger generations to building inclusive workplaces. These trends give me hope that we'll continue to see progress in the right direction. Thank you, Linda, for sharing your insights and hopeful vision for the future. And thanks to our listeners for joining us on Voices of the Workplace. Together, we can make a difference in achieving gender equality in the workplace and beyond.